mum's last day. It's been just so good for Lenny and his grandma to catch up. This is the coolest spot. We're gonna go check out a Pablo Escobar plane and it looks incredible. I'm Elena and this is Riley and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. On the move again this morning. Quite early for a change. Seagulls are out feeding. How are we this morning? Really good. Amazing sleep. Shaved off the beard forward to a big day. It's nice wind so we're going to be able to head down to, I believe you and I have never been to Wardrick Worlds, Elena, but it's supposed to be really, really nice. And then we're going to go check out a Pablo Escobar plane, a uh, plane rack, and it looks incredible. So stick around for that, subscribe if you're new, and like it a video. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why people come and just drop the anchor for an entire season. These islands just feel really peaceful and none of the anchorages are super crowded except for Pig Beach, that one is. It's just a really peaceful environment. <laughs> Feeling very zen. And yeah, this has been great for us because we've got Maureen, so Riley and I have been able to like, I don't know, just hang out by ourselves for a little bit, <laughs> have an adult conversation. We're about to hoist the sails and go to our next spot. So it looks like someone's building a house that's kind of like half in the ground with solar panels. It looks like hurricane proof. Try to escape from me, the tide away if you really want to run. With you I see home when before I didn't care. Now I know I need you I need you I need you Now I know I How is he? Good? Good. He looks so cute. I know. Wadrick Wells is kind of the centre for all the activities that goes on in the Exuma Key Land and Sea Park. Isn't it stunning? The mooring balls prevent anchors and anchor chains ruining coral reefs and the seafloor, but I'm still surprised they let a 48 foot tie off to one when our rudders were only a few metres away from the sandbar behind us. There wasn't supposed to be any wind tonight though, so we should be fine. This is the coolest oh, spot. Right. We just came through this channel here and we took a mooring ball like all the other dive boats here. And apparently this is all beautiful coral reefs. So there's people snorkeling and canoeing and uh, whew, it's pretty damn nice out here. <laughs> Jump right off your boat, swim that way.
bread making effort number 372. What's happened this time? I had two bags of flour. One was the whole wheat, which I usually make my bread. The one recipe that I know that I can master. And then I had rye flour and I really wanted to rye bread. Didn't know how to make it. Thought I would take the chance and just do the same procedure I do with the whole wheat. Turns out you can't do that because we got a brick. You made one good loaf of bread when Meg was here. By no, following. babe. Excuse me. I've been making fabulous loaves of bread through the... Do I need to flash back? I've made heaps. Right. You only remember the ones that I stuff up, never the good ones. So you, you made a really nice one with Meg by following the instructions. You got a little cocky. No, I, to... babe, I just told you I learnt a recipe. I have not messed up the whole wheat bread. I haven't. Well, I wouldn't want to, you know, I think Elena did a really fabulous job, so I really want to honour that. <laughs> but when I was eating the bread last night, <laughs> it did snap my tooth. Really? Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Really? Oh, and you didn't tell us. Really? I was, no, because I, I wanted to honour the bread. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay. It's fine. It's just what snapped too, it's just out right at the back. Uh, mm. Mm. Right. Mm. So you snapped mum's tooth. Bread, bread <laughs> making failed number 232. <laughs> Snap tooth. When you caught in my side the next morning, Maureen and I headed into land to see if we could salvage Mo a new tooth from this sperm whale skeleton, found in 1995. This 52 foot animal died from consuming plastic garbage. As you know, plastics are responsible for countless deaths of sea mammals, birds and turtles each year. We've learned it's pretty hard to get down to zero waste, especially when you're provisioning in new countries all the time, so we make sure our trash is disposed of properly. Chemicals are also really harmful too, not only for the sea creatures, but for our human bodies as well. So minimising the chemicals we use on board has been really satisfying. Hand backwards. Is it? Okay. Whoops. Just, just in back. Okay. Left hand forward. Right. Okay, now wait. You can see we're spinning a bit more now. Yeah. So is this, is there a, what, what is this one driving exactly? At the engine. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ha! What shall we do with the drunken sailor ha! early in the morning? Way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises, early in the morning. Guys, just wanted to say a huge thank you for following our journey. It's been, yeah, it's pretty special sharing it all with you. Thanks for watching week after week. If you're new here, please subscribe and definitely go back and watch from the beginning. There's like so much to, you have a lot to catch up on. We're thinking of doing a quiz to, um, yeah, make sure you guys have seen all the episodes as much as I like cringe at the earlier ones. All right, it's his bedtime. Yeah. Thanks guys. Grandmama would be leaving us soon, so we took the opportunity to leave Lenny with her so that Elena and I could go spearfishing. Amazing, perfect dinner size. We're gonna stick it in the oven. Maureen's gonna be stoked. She was like wanting fish so bad. This time she came to visit, and the first time we've ever had like a fish drought, she was here. So, uh, yes, Groper for dinner tonight. She'll be very happy with that. It's a nice size fish. Mum will be very happy.
On the way back, we found the plane wreck people had been telling us about. It lies in four meters of water, so you can explore the whole thing in only a few breath holds. The plane was used by Pablo Escobar and the boys for transporting narcotics during the 1970s period when the very strange packages kept washing up on the beaches of Florida. In 1980, the plane crashed here after running out of fuel. They were so close to the runway, but not close enough, obviously. Locals found the wreck with the two passengers inside and the plane packed to the brim with drugs. These days, it's just home to lots of beautiful little fishes. Were you a good boy for Grandmama, Lenny? Lenny, were you a good boy? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Someone wants my phone. No, Lenny. Not for babies. Oh, it's a lot of night Make the world a better place. Yeah, you love dancing in the rain. Say goodnight to Grandma. <laughs> I love talking on the phone you Do things other people don't Make sure no one feels alone Do you love talking on the phone We are arriving at our old home, Palm Key Marina. We've stayed here a few times now. It's generally where we stay when we come back to Nassau. Mum's last day. It was a really nice sail across. The waves have built up a bit now because we're quite a long way from where we were, which was blocking the southeasterly breeze. But yeah, nice and breezy now. Just coming in on head sail alone behind us. Um, just for the last little bit because we're heading directly downwind. Uh, drop the main and it's been just so good for Lenny and his grandma to catch up. It's been really good for us because we've just it's incredible how much free time you, re you don't realise that you don't have. Or I just do all of the sailing because Elena was looking after Lenny or if he went to sleep we'd run around like mad hatters and pull up a sail and pull one down and yeah it was quite difficult so it's been amazing having grandmama here and just seeing those two bond to get to know each other a little better it's very very nice thanks grandmama have you had a good time on board Maureen? <laughs> I've had a great time on board highlights? some highlights yeah. well Lenny yeah. Lenny the cave dive yeah that that's was the amazing. one you thought you were going to die yeah the one I thought I was going to die <laughs> turned out to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And no, it's just been great being with you and Riley. Yeah. yeah. And sailing today and the other day we were sailing it was fabulous. Yeah, we've had some good sails. Oh, I love the code D. Yeah. <laughs> Say thank you, Grandmama. Thank you, Grandmama. We made it, we did it. Maureen is um, safely where she needs to be. She flies out early in the morning, so I think we're gonna go to the restaurant for dinner tonight. Um, that'll be really nice. We're just about out of food by now. Don't even have peanut butter. It was very nice to kick up our feet and relax. Planning an island hopping adventure to arrive the afternoon before a scheduled flight always takes a lot of organising. Looking at the weather and calculating distances, but we have done it. Our friends Bernard and Annette, who are also patrons of ours, live on the island of Nassau, so we've invited them out for dinner. They're also sailors and have been such amazingly good and helpful friends since we met them, I think, last time we were here. Just take his arm off. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Next time we head north.
We should be out at sea for about 10 days or so, and we can't wait to see what Lenny thinks of a bigger crossing, and even if we can kind of do it. Thank you.